here for 10 years. So Bernard had said he was coming, so he said, well, we put have put on quite a heck of a show and make sure this race is better than ever, and that's what we did. And the first person, you know, there's a long list of athletes we called, but you can believe when we were in Beijing, we turned immediately to Nick Willis as the Olympic bronze medalist and said, we know we need to have you back here in New York and you need to be part of this race. This was a special race from, from the gun. Again, all the all the big stars were there. Some young young American, Chris Zielinski, who was fourth in the Olympic trials, his heart was a little broken over not making the 5,000. He was in the mix early on. It was a really intense, big, strong group um, in the early miles. Nick was actually back a little bit. Nate was back just a touch. Bernard started really pushing about halfway. Those of you who have run this race before, um, being in the front actually gives you a slight bit of disadvantage depending on how it goes. And Nick uh, was sitting behind and Bernard heard Nick say, Bernard's like the super superstar, right? So people usually defer to him a little bit. Um, at the press conference, Nick stood right up sitting tall and said, I'm here to win this race. Bernard then said, I'm here to win this race. So Bernard knew Nick was sitting behind him, um, and they both knew young Nate Brainin was looking after big injury, this uh, coming back up, uh, back surgery, was looking for a breakthrough. So they were all want to finish their, their season in a strong way, so it, went, it was a pretty intense um, with a big group all the way through the half to go, a quarter to go, and then you guys saw it. I don't need to tell you that one-tenth of a second celebrated, separated, I think the deck guys, the two guys who had the best seasons in total this year on the track when you look at from the beginning to the end. So amazing race to, to Bernard and to Nick and to Nate. What's exciting here, we have these kids standing here, and I want to tell you how much the sport, we believe it's the greatest sport in the world, and we believe our stars are big stars. Five, seven years ago in high school, there was a international intense interest in high school milers because for the first time in decades, three of them, Alan Webb in the U.S., Nate Brannon in Canada, and Nick Willis in New Zealand, we're all flirting with breaking the four minute mile. And from that time on, in the past, high school runners flamed out. Here we are, and Alan Webb's gonna be running very strong in next year, and here we are in 2008, some six and seven, and all three of them went to Michigan. We'll get to Michigan in a minute. Six or seven years later, and they're now running at the top of the world. So it proves high school runners can keep going. Um, we're committed, New York runners, to help them keep going. So in closing, we wanna celebrate Bernard, He's going home to his three-year-old. His wife is five, six, seven weeks away from their second child. So Bernard, we wish you well. We want you to come on up. First road race, first road race. He's the six-time winner of the Milrose Games Mile. I hope we're gonna see you back in February, but it's your first road race. Welcome to the roads of New York. Thank you so much, Mary. Um, it's a pleasure always to come to New York. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me. I've always had a blast when I come to New York. I always feel like I'm so, um, you know, welcomed here, and I feel like home every time I come to New York. So I've been coming here since 2001, and every time I always enjoy just meeting people and, you know, running at the Madison Square Garden. Last year I had the pleasure of coming to watch the U.S. trials for the marathon and the open race the following day and let me tell you it was a pleasure running I mean being on the lead, elite vehicle watching it and you know I felt like this is the place that you know all excitement happens in track and field and you know there's no other place to be but New York so it's really exciting for me, um, you know, when I was mapping out what to do, I mean, I, I mean, on my season 2008, I knew that, you know, I wanted to do something different, and I knew that if I was to go and run that New York race, you know, that would be something new and something different for me, and, you know, I, I told my manager, you know, I would like to go to New York to run the the road mile and he told me wow you know I think I surprised him by saying that because I knew Mary always wanted me to come for a long time and I realized I should go this time around you know I have a lot of time after the Olympics so and today I ran a good race my first one now I know how to run again next time so <laughs> All the athletes that were running with me today, they are all amazing athletes, will be here again to join me next year and make it even fun 
make it competitive and you know we are, we'll hold a, a fun here. And thank you again for coming today and again for coming next year to watch us again do what we did today. Thank you Bernard. In six weeks from today Bernard's training partner Abdi Abdurrahman is going to be right in the mix in the marathon so we're going to get to watch him. Next up, how many of you are from Michigan out here? We have a Michigan thing going. Where's the Michigan cross country team? Are they gone? <laughs> they had to take off. Are they in a bus or a plane? They're flying back to Michigan. Nate and Nick both ran at Michigan. Alan Webb started with them there as well. They have a phenomenal coach. It's really hard to be a good college coach and actually help your kids survive in the professional world, and Coach Warhurst has done that. He was here with his cross-country team who won a big race last night, yesterday in Van Cortlandt, cross-country race. So we got a good Michigan thing going here today. Those guys had a lot of support, and I'd say, you know, you're always looking behind your shoulders. So I'm sure they had a little bit of a show. They had to show the young guys uh, that they were going to run well here. So I would like to bring up... Um, as I said, he's a young man with a big future in front of him and had some trials, as many of you have in your running careers um, this year. And what a good, strong finish to the year. Nate Brandon, come on up. This is uh, my third year coming here. Uh, I finally finished it with, it with a good note. I've never really run too well here, but cracked off the, the season running well. And it's really no better place than, than New York City to come in and finish the career or the season. It's been a long year. Battled some injuries, but it, it's been a pretty successful year. And um, not only is it great to to be here in such a great city, but also have New York Roadrunners putting this on. It's New York uh, Road Mile here, or the, the fifth half mile, has, has been a great experience every year, and they put on an amazing race. And I'm definitely going to be co coming back for, for years to come. And, and uh, yeah, I can't say more about New York City. I love coming here. I'm from kind of a small town in Canada, and the big city life definitely isn't for me more than a weekend, but I love I love spending three or four days here and, and um, finishing the, the season like this. So thanks to everyone, and uh, thanks for much here and, and all the Michigan crowd and the fans. Breakthrough years and there are dream years and then there are dreams of a lot years of a lifetime years. Nick Willis, it was one of those. We know there's much ahead, but what a year. He's the Olympic bronze medalist. He's won the Fifth Avenue Mile today. Come on up. Close it up. In March 2001, I um, got an invitation from the National Scholastic Indoor Championships meet at the Armory um, up in northern Manhattan, and so it's my first time ever to the States, so here I was coming to the land of opportunity, and that got me a scholarship to come to Michigan, and I've lived here ever since. So it's been six years, although I have a Kiwi flag on my chest at the Olympic Games, my experiences in the States have helped me believe that it's possible to, to compete and to, to dream big, and that's what has happened this year with the Olympic Games. I was ranked 10th in the world going in, and I, am in, I dreamed of getting a medal, and I did. Um, I came here two years ago, and I got silver just getting out kicked on the line, so I realized this year I've got to be the one to stay back and kick right at the end, so experience has paid off, I suppose. In a week's time, I'll be celebrating with my wife our first year wedding anniversary, so to do that, the year of the Olympic Games, is a huge testament that to do things as a team um, really helps things happen, so I just want to thank you, Sierra, and we can't wait to go to Fiji next week. So, thanks very much for having me, and I hope to be back every year since. Bernard Leggett stumped his mark in the Milrose Games, and I look forward to taking over for him from now on. So. <laughs> I'm sure there's another rivalry there for us to look forward to. Ladies, come on up. We're going to get our top, our podium. Up.